Last year, we gave aspiring young engineers the challenge of designing a Mars transport vehicle. On a planet where temperatures can drop to minus 130 degrees Celsius and there's no breathable oxygen, this was no easy task. Over 150 incredible designs were submitted, but only the top entrants were picked to win a once in a lifetime opportunity. Which brings us to today. Welcome to Royal Air Force Coningsby. Let's go meet the prize winners and have a tour around a Typhoon jet. So my design was, was quite odd, so I went for something like, it looked like an insect, so it had like six legs, it had a massive like circular section and like a really small head, so it was quite like a spider. I made it so that it fit the brief of maneuverability, so if it's going up like a steep thing, the centre cockpit and everything would stay level regardless because they would have like a gyroscopic sort of thing in it. Um, my design is a four-leg uh, robot. I do think it's a kind of um, bio-inspired thing and so it's um, quite innovative in a way that we can take the advantage of the animals, uh, learn from what the animal does uh, in, the, in the past and put it in a new uh, environment. My design was modularity, it, solar and storage space as well as transport. It's very much metamodernism and kind of one thing can be beautiful but also hyper-functional and that was kind of what I went for, is just making something as useful as it could possibly be. My design was a spider-inspired mass transport vehicle. My favourite feature is that I incorporated natural elements in the actual design. So I based it off spiders. They use their own form of hydraulic system where their muscles pump it from the internal body and move their legs. So I tried to copy that in the design. What I was most impressed by all of the entrants was the level of detail. The competition was open for ages 16 to 25. And what we really wanted to do was promote science, technology, engineering, maths, known as STEM. But some of the detail, there was pages and pages of uh, technical formulas, information. I was really impressed by that, uh, just supporting the diagrams and the information, and it made it really credible. Today, the most exciting part was definitely the walking around the typhoon and having it explained to us and seeing all the different engineering that went behind and into it. I've learned so much about the jets, how they function, how they're maintained. And it's incredible how much technology they've packed into such a small but simple design. Today has definitely been quite inspirational. It's nice to have an idea of what you're working towards and coming here today to see the different jets, the cars that uh, engineers from around the world have helped produce has been quite nice to see and the engineering behind it, the thought behind all the different aspects of it has been really cool. It's been an amazing experience to come here and feel quite honoured because it's, yeah, it's, I think this is going to be something that I look back on in my future as a definitely a defining moment. Mm -hmm.